it's time for a tip. We can create our own command for any CLI command and execute it from the command palette of the Visual Studio Code. For example, there is no SFDX command for listing the orgs. The only way is to use the SFDX force org list command from the CLI. In this session, we'll see how we can create a task to run this command from the command palette. Here we are in our project in the Visual Studio Code. Let's first check for the SFDX commands. We don't have any command to list the orgs. So let's create one using VS Code tasks. In the command palette, enter task and select configure task. Here you can see some predefined tasks created for ESLint and NPM. For instance, you can run npm install from the command palette instead of a terminal. Let's scroll down and you can see a command to create task.json file. For the very first time, we can create this file and later we can add the task to the same file. We can select a predefined template for our task. Let's select MS Build. Now let's fill the template to create our command. Let's give a label for our command. Let's say list orgs. Keep it as a shell command and give the command name as SFDX. Now give the args as force org list. Let's keep the group as build so that you can use command shift B for Mac or control shift B for Windows to launch the command as we go forward. We want to see the output in the terminal. So let's give always for reveal. As we want to see the error in the problem window, we can give ESLint output. Let's now save it. Now let's run the command from the command palette. Select task, run task. Now you can see our command list talks here. Let's select that. You can see the output in the terminal. You can also directly invoke this command using command shift P on Mac or control shift P on Windows. You would have also noticed that VS Code IntelliSense works like a heaven. Was that a cool tip? Please let us know. It's now time for a quick tip. Let's talk about Quiddity. It's a system defined enum that tells you what triggered your Apex class to run. Here is a range of values it has. It tells us whether your code is invoked from an anonymous block, future method, and so on. If you notice, the values get quite granular as well. For example, in your Apex class, you often use the test.isRunning test to determine if your class is invoked from a test class. But Quiddity also tells you whether those test classes are running synchronously asynchronously or during production deployment. And this makes it a great tool to control the flow of logic during runtime. Here is how you're going to use it. Until now, if you had to check if your class is being invoked from a test class, future method or batch, you would use their equivalent system methods to put in checks like these. But now with Quiddity, you just need to call the getQuiddity method and use those granular values provided to put in better checks. So this code, for example, runs the logic only if it is called from quick actions or lightning components. The other example here uses Quiddity to determine if it is safe to run your query or some other logic that bypasses sharing roles. So what we are doing here is if you are calling your code from batch apex or queuable, we are bypassing the sharing roles. But if it is invoked from anywhere else like REST classes, or a components, quick actions, we are enforcing the sharing roles. And this is one of the many use cases on how you can use Quiddity. To learn more, check out the Quiddity recipes folder in the Apex Recipes sample app.